Ladies, looking to get your groove back between the sheets? Soon, there will be a pill for that. Hey friends, Lacey Green here for D News. You've all heard of Viagra. Maybe some of you have even used it. It's an arousal pill to lend a hand to men who are having issues getting an erection. Now, word on the street has it that we will soon see the first female equivalent in the US. It's called Librito, and while it is an arousal pill, it's not exactly female Viagra. Viagra works on dilating the blood vessels to encourage flow down to the nethers. Librito works with a component chemically similar to Viagra in conjunction with testosterone. So the two drugs together make for a super sex pill that should be taken three and a half hours before sex and affects executive regions of the brain. A 200 patient trial for Librito has just wrapped up and the researchers say that the results are very, very promising. They say that with Librito, women had sex with their partners more often and found it easier to orgasm with them. They're going to do an even bigger trial in Europe and hope to get it on the US and European markets by 2016. Of course, all of this excitement is inspired, and perhaps rightly so, by a lack of excitement. Many women's libidos drop somewhere between year one and year four of a monogamous relationship, although they, we, do get totally hot and bothered by new people, so there's that. Scientists have been trying to get a grip on female desire for decades, and this pill is another manifest of that. In the past, they've used tampon-esque gadgets that measure vaginal activity while watching porn. They've strapped women to lie detectors while they fill out surveys about their sex lives. They've meticulously monitored pupil action while viewing X-rated films. And even with all that, they still haven't quite figured it out. Now, I'm actually kind of into this librito thing. Like, I'd totally try it. For science, of course. But it also makes me feel sort of weird for three reasons. The first being that I'm not sure a lowered sex drive is some kind of disorder that you need medication for. Human sexual desire is a huge spectrum. It's really hard to say what's normal. Maybe it's okay and normal to have a lower sex drive, male or female, and people shouldn't feel pressured to fix themselves with pills. Secondly, how far are we gonna go with this whole pills to fix stuff thing anyway? I love modern medicine. I do. Shoot, I'm the number one fan right here. But this does get into murky territory for me because Three, maybe this libido business warrants a little more critical inquiry. Questions maybe people could ask. Does monogamy make some people bored? Could there be an underlying relationship problem that arises in the first to fourth years? Are antidepressant side effects being addressed? Could the shame that many women feel about their bodies and their sexuality repress sex drive? I mean, I just like to get to the bottom of things. Apparently, Librito makes the drug approval peeps feel slightly weird too, but for different reasons. The researchers say they expect a significant hurdle in proving that they are not turning women into nymphos. Yeah, there is an actual concern that the pill might work too well and women might have tons of sex, which would be so crazy, like the world would just come crashing down. Real talk, do you think that this was an anticipated hurdle when Viagra came out? Let me know your thoughts down below on Librito, namely, would you try it? You can also tweet us things in your head at DNews. Bye-bye.